Well, there is an undeniable irony surrounding Chuy Quintanilla's fate. Several of his ballads, known as Narco Corridos, detailed the dangerous and at times gruesome lives of Mexico's drug lords. We're going to take a look at this genre as well as the morbid lyrics that ultimately mirrored his death. Chuy Quintanilla's career spanned decades. Lively, upbeat harmonies that, on several occasions, contrasted the grim lyrics of drug traffickers. But today was a starkly different tune for the singer, as authorities combed the dirt road where he is believed to have taken his last breath. Quintanilla was last seen yesterday, but never returned home. His family filed a missing persons report early this morning, but it was too late. His body found next to an SUV surrounded by citrus groves in Mission with at least two bullet wounds to the head. No, there's no doubt that the homicide was carried out where he is on. And we're pretty sure of that. Up to this point, no drugs have been found on either personal use or in large quantities. And I doubt that they will be. Quintanilla was well known in the region for his Norteña music, earning the title La Mera Ley de Corridos, or Absolute Law of Ballads. But it's one genre that may be at the focus of this murder investigation. Known as Narco Corridos, endearing lyrics closely detailing the lives of powerful drug lords that many fear. His song, Estamos en Guerra, believed to be about the splintering of the Zetas cartel from the larger Gulf cartel. Quintanilla shares a similar fate as his narco corrido colleagues. Valentin Elizalde was killed in an ambush while in Reynosa in 2006. In previous interviews, Quintanilla dismissed the term narco corrido, saying simply his genre of music has always illustrated people's lives that everyone can identify with. But what we do know is that yesterday was a heartbreaking day for his family and his countless fans. Reporting for Good Day Valley, I'm Vicki Gonzalez, sending it back to you in the studio.